8. The Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Housing. Does he stand by all his comments on housing? If not, why not? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Um, yes, Mr Speaker, as long as they're taken in context. The Honourable Annette King. Mr Speaker, do the statements that he made over four years ago about mouldy old damp state houses apply to any state houses now? almost four years after he became the minister, promising to rid the land of slum state housing and said upgrading state houses is a high priority. The Honourable Phil Heatley. Um, yes, Mr Speaker, as I said yesterday, in fact more recently than four years ago, we inherited about a third of our state houses of the wrong size, in the wrong place or in serious um, case of disrepair. We are insulating every state house that we can uh, by the end of next year. We're very proud of that. In fact, we consider as a state landlord this should have been done decades ago um, and the previous government should be a bit embarrassed about it. Supplementary question. Can he recall his visit to 44 Simon Street flats in Auckland early this year and did he notice the mouldy old damp walls, the broken windows, the peeling paint and the one laundry for 45 flats? If so, what action has been taken to address these slum-like problems after his visit? The um, Honourable Phil Heatley. Um, uh, Mr Speaker, I have visited a number of state houses, both in opposition and in government, and I confirm again in this House the state housing stock was left in a serious state of disrepair. There are a large number of state houses, even today, which are in a serious state of disrepair. And I look forward to the Labour Party and the Green Party supporting this government upgrading them. Because order, 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 I'm, order. Does the member need a new prescription for his glasses? And get a hearing aid. Well, I was, I was on my feet and the minister just kept going because I, I was very impressed by the passion and the answer. The only problem was I don't think it said anything about the question asked. Now, I, uh, I, uh, there's a lot of licence in that kind of question, but some reference to the question asked whether the minister had visited a certain block of, of flats, I think, or apartments in Simon Street in Auckland. And, and nothing wrong with the minister uh, giving a little more information than necessary, but there was no mention made of those flats whatsoever. Now, if the minister could assist the House in that regard, I'd appreciate it. The Honourable Phil Heatley. Mr Speaker, I may or may not have visited them. I've visited a lot of state houses in my time. I can let you know, though, uh, the House, that there are a large number of state houses which we want to demolish and subdivide, and we would appreciate the support of the Labor Party instead of them stopping every development we're trying to do in this country. On one hand, they want them no, fixed. Order, order, order. <laughs> Sufficient. Uh, the Honourable Annette King. Has he been told that the only maintenance that has been done at 44 Simon Street in four years occurred a few days before he visited? When the entrance foyer got a new piece of lino, now called the ministerial lino. And if so, does he intend to visit again so they can get another piece of lino? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Well, Mr Speaker, I always suspected I was a very effective member. I noticed that member never gets a red carpet laid out for her. But what I can say is simply this, is there are a large number of state houses in this country that need repair. Every time we try and subdivide a section uh, and move someone else to a new state house, that party objects. The state housing stock needs upgrading. I want them their support. What in the previous minute? Point of order, Mr. order. Mr. Point Mr. Of order Speaker, I seek leave to table a photograph taken by Jacinda Ardern on our recent visit at 44 Simon Street showing the ministerial lino. Leave, leave us sort of table that document. Is there any objection? There is objection. Question. Oh, Jacinda Ardern. 
Oh, Supp order. The House has had some fun. I must be able to hear a supplementary question. To supplementary to the Minister. Is he planning to demolish or sell the flats at 44 Simon Street, as he implied in his earlier answer? The Honourable Phil Heatley. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm unaware of any moves to do that. It would be a matter for the Corporation. Uh, but what I... Uh, what I can say is that there's a large number of state houses across New Zealand which we wish to either upgrade, subdivide, demolish and rebuild, and every time we do it, the Labor Party opposes us, and yet they want them upgraded. What do we do, Mr Speaker? Well, we get on with the job. Question order. Question number nine, Dr Kennedy Graham. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister.